Hi students, we will start the second part of changing in culture and tradition of class 11th history in which we have studied which type of changes came in the 14th century to 17th century. We have studied about the renaissance and we have studied about the humanism. Now we will study about the new topic the revival of the Italian cities. How it became revived? Because as we know that when the Roman Empire fell, then the political and the cultural centers totally ruined. Means these were not, there was not any importance of the political and the cultural center in the Roman Empire. Why it was, why there was no any importance? Because there was no any unified government nor a political figure as we know that there was a rule of pope means there was a great influence of pope over the roman empire as we have studied a particular name has been given to the king that but at this time not a strong political figure was present in the roman empire and it was totally ruined and uh, in the powers and the culture also but Whenever the Western Europe unified under the Latin churches means new shape has been came in the society. They have started to grow and now the Western Europe came under unified under the Latin churches and the Eastern Europe came under the Byzantine Empire and they became started the establishment. And at that time, Islamic was creating the common civilization. At that time, Islamic countries were also growing and, and the Western Europe and the Eastern Europe also growing at that time. At that time, Italy was very weak and fragmented, means very less power. As I have explained in the first line, that there was no powerful ruler at that time no any person was there who unified that government unified that people of the roman empire but and just after it the byzantine started the trade with the islamic countries because at that as we have studied in chapter 4 the central islamic land at this time the various number of the islamic countries became developed and byzantine empire started to trade with the Islamic countries and for trading they have used the coast of Italy and these type of changes helped Italy to re-establishment. I have written here clearly these all changes help Italy to regain or for the re-establishment. Means after it Italy started to grow little bit very slow rate of at a very slow rate the Italy became started to grow and it has given here one another thing have started here in the 12th century from the 12th century Mongols opened up trade with China and as we know that the route of the China which connecting with the other countries that was known as the silk route means mongols were attaching they were doing a trade with china used the italian coast and they became powerful it has given from the 12th century mongol opened up trade with the china via silk route and as trade with the western european countries means as they were doing a trade with the China in the same way they were doing a trade with the Western European countries and they had used the Italian coast and these coasts were revived at that time and whenever this coast has been revived the people started to settle there and when the people started to settle there they started to make a kingdom and slowly slowly they became powerful and uh, unified at that place some places were very famous like florence as we have studied about that florence and venice was the center of the art and the literature and also it was the republic instead of it the other cities 
वर इन द हैंड ऑफ द मिलिट्री गवर्नमेंट अदर इन द हैंड ऑफ द मिलिट्री गवर्नमेंट आइदर इट वॉज रूल्ड बाई द प्रिंसेज नॉट बाय द मिलिट्री इट वॉज रूल्ड बाई द प्रिंसेज विद द हेल्प ऑफ द मिलिट्री एंड the two cities venice and the genoa were vibrant cities venice a name continuously coming you have heard this name in a famous poem of shakespeare merchant of venice that same venice is here now at that time rich merchants and the bankers were actively governing the city means they were the active members because as i have told you that uh, uh, the coast became revived and whenever the coast will be revived then there will be some merchants and rich persons will be leave there and try to create their influence and the same thing happened there was the rule of the rich merchants and the bankers who were actively governing the cities and now we will start the new topic that is the universities and the humanism about the universities and the humanism it has given the early university in europe has become established in the italian towns the universities two universities were very famous and the earlier center of the study and that was the name padua and the bologna bologna and the padua were the two main cities which were very famous for the study and at that time commerce was active in city which demanded the lawyers and the bankers why the lawyers and the bankers were demanded in the city it the question arises in the mind why only the lawyers and the bankers are required as it has given commerce commerce means the trading the trading started then the bankers became established for handling all the aspects means the profit and loss and whatever the requirements in the trade for expressing these type of things the bankers were required and maintaining the records and also for the legal issues the lawyers were demanded so the demand of the lawyer and the bankers became increased and also at that time law became the powerful subject law became the powerful subject but it was studying in the context of the earlier roman empire because they were thinking that roman empire law lawing means the system of trade and the commerce was very better so they were understanding the laws in context of the roman empire a name very famous name is given here francesco petrarch who represented this change by his writing and expressed that to petrarch antiquity was distinct distinct civilization which could be best understood through a actual word of ancient greek and roman means he had tried whatever written in the roman and greek that is perfectly established and just after it the education and every writer tried to convert the people to convert the reader toward its writing and one more thing the educational programs implies that where there was very much of the learnt with the really religious teaching alone could not give means they have tried to explain means law not only the religious teaching can give the give you the confirmed knowledge about a particular place this was the learnt which religion learnt culture which historians in the 19th century were to be labeled humanism as we have started it has given by the jacob that history is not only the mean in which we study about the political changes history means in which we study about the political cultural social all type of changes and the new historian given a new name that was the 
ह्यूमनिज्म as i have written here that is humanism was the name and from where this humanism word came it come from the latin word humanitic humanitas it came from humanitas this word is came from the latin word and it is belonging to the different aspects some were thinking that it is belonging to the grammar theory poetry history and the moral philosophy these all things were including in this humanism these all things were cultured in this humanism and from which humanist was derived had been used many centuries ago by the roman lawyer and the essayist that's name was the cicero cicero has used it firstly you have to write the name cicero cicero have used it firstly before a long time ago who was the essayist historian and he was a, a scholar person these subjects were not drawn from the or connected with the religion means these all were the logical subjects and not related to the religion and emphasize the skill development and demanded for the development of the skill by the individual through the discussion and debate means he has given the importance to the discussion and the debates in the skill improvement and for getting the being knowledge yes person at this time the changes some changes other came the revolutionary ideas attracted attracted the attention of many other persons many other universities particularly in the newly established university in the florence in the florence a new uni some new universities became established and the attention became drawn toward this feeling of humanism and the whatever the subjects were coming under the humanism they became established it till the end of the 13th century this city had not made a mark of center of trade or of learning but various number of things became changed means florence not became the main center of learning but lots of changes came during this time A city is known by its great surgeon as much as the wealth and the Florence had come to be known for the known of Dante Alighieri. A name is very famous, Dante Alighieri. Dante Alighieri it Florence became famous on the name of the Dante Alighieri who was the lawman who wrote an religious theme and the Giotto uh, who was an artisan who was the artist who painted life life portrait which attracted the interest of the people toward the study toward the humanism was very different from the stiff figure done by the earlier artist means whatever the earliest artists have been prepared it was total different view on this from the from then it developed as the most exciting intellectual city in the in italy and as a center of artistic creativity and wherever he was living it became the center of the creativity in italy the term renaissance man is often used to describe the person with many interest of the skills means renaissance was used for the changing whatever the changing came at that time but here the renaissance man is used for the term who who was thinking for himself who was who have the different who had 
continued with the different skill writing drawing uh, painting and the different type of the subjects he had studied that word hum renasa man is used for that type of person because many of the individual who became well known at this time were people of the many part they were scholars diplomat theo theologian artist combined in one means who have the more than one skills they were known as the renesa men these were the main theme of the universities and the humanism how it became developed and became changed and for the next part we have to you have to follow me on my youtube channel and get the support